best herbal medicine for health and wellness. Hello and welcome to another video. If you're new to this channel, Health and Remedies, it mainly covers health conditions and their treatments, complementary medicine and nutrition. So if this is of interest to you, please subscribe and you'll get lots of free informative content. Have you ever been curious about the benefits of herbal remedies or plants and their uses for different ailments? Maybe you're interested in what certain remedies are good for. If so, you're in the right place as this video gives an overview of some common plants and their benefits. Lots of valuable info, so stay tuned until the end. Just a disclaimer, as mentioned in all my video descriptions, this video is for general information purposes only and is not to be used as medical advice. If you plan to use any herbal remedies or medicinal treatments, always consult with your GP or natural health practitioner first. Now let's get into it. Number one, ginkgo. Ginkgo is one of the oldest tree species as well as one of the oldest homeopathic plants and a popular plant used in Chinese medicine. The leaves of ginkgo are made into tablets and capsules and can also be dried and consumed as a tea. The main use of ginkgo is to improve brain health. Studies have shown that ginkgo is beneficial for mild to moderate dementia and can slow cognition decline in dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Ginkgo is also beneficial for eye health as it improves blood flow, contains antioxidants, relaxes smooth muscle and protects neurons from damage. The antioxidants in ginkgo help reduce free radicals which in turn may reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. Number 2. Turmeric Turmeric comes from India and is believed to have anti-cancer properties and prevent abnormalities of DNA. It can be consumed in supplement form. Turmeric also has anti-inflammatory properties and can be good for arthritis. It can also be applied topically to reduce pain from arthritis and is popular as an ingredient in cooking. Turmeric may be beneficial for skin conditions due to its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties and can contribute to a more glowing, youthful appearance. Turmeric may be also applied as a face mask at home to obtain these benefits. Due to its antioxidant properties, it can help prevent cancer and the mutation of DNA. Number 3. Evening Primrose Oil Evening Primrose Oil, or EPO, is thought to relieve symptoms of premenstrual syndrome and also skin conditions such as eczema. Some studies have shown that EPO has anti-inflammatory benefits due to its omega-6 fatty acids and can also relieve symptoms of atopic dermatitis and diabetic neuropathy and can reduce breast pain. Recent research has shown that EPO can help improve quality of life for sufferers of multiple sclerosis. It can also help alleviate symptoms of polycystic ovary syndrome or PCOS in terms of hormones and insulin sensitivity due to the evening primrose being high in the omega-6 fatty acid called GLA, gamma linolenic acid. According to many natural health practitioners, GLA and other omega fatty acids promote healthy balance of hormones, in turn being beneficial for PCOS and PMS. EPO can also be used topically to alleviate mild dermatitis. According to clinical trials, the linoleic acid in evening primrose oil can help reduce premenstrual syndrome or PMS symptoms as it promotes prostaglandin synthesis, which in turn alleviates PMS. The linoleic acid in evening primrose oil also helps mild skin conditions. Linoleic acid is an omega-6 fatty acid that protects the skin barrier, keeps water in the epidermis layer of the skin, and controls the production of sebum. This keeps the skin soft and dewy and prevents rough, dry skin. Evening primrose oil can alleviate breast pain by reducing inflammation and inhibiting the prostaglandins that cause breast pain associated with PMS. Evening primrose oil may help reduce menopause symptoms by supporting the reduction of hormonal changes related to menopause. It is thought that evening primrose can maintain healthy blood pressure levels due to its GLA content, which reduces inflammation and helps reduce the narrowing of arteries. 
Number four, flax seeds. Flax seed, which can also be consumed as an oil, is a relatively safe natural supplement. It is a popular choice and is known for its antioxidant activity and anti-inflammatory properties. Trusted sources claim that flax seed can reduce blood pressure when consumed. Flax seeds can also help reduce obesity. Flax seed and flaxseed meal is commonly added to oatmeal and smoothies. It is also available in the form of tablets, oil and flour. It can also be added to cereals or salads, stews, homemade bread and to salad dressing. Number five, tea tree oil. Tea tree is Australian and the oil from tea tree has been considered beneficial for skin conditions for a long time, such as mild acne and inflammatory skin conditions. It is also known to have been beneficial for athlete's foot, minor wounds, dandruff and insect bites. Research is being conducted regarding the antimicrobial benefits of tea tree oil on wounds and topical infections. A recent study proved that tea tree oil reduced the growth of microbes that caused acne. It is often used in the form of a concentrated essential oil. Tea tree oil is often diluted in many skincare products and creams. It may help reduce acne due to its anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties. It helps reduce redness, swelling and inflammation and acne scars. Tea tree oil can help with athlete's foot because it can kill certain bacteria and fungus. To alleviate the symptoms of athlete's foot, such as itching and burning, tea tree oil can be rubbed into the skin twice a day. Tea tree oil is beneficial for cuts because the antibacterial components help to heal wounds. The antifungal ingredients of tea tree oil helps relieve dandruff symptoms such as dry scalp. It moisturises the scalp by clearing blocked pores and preventing dryness. Tea tree oil reduces the discomfort from insect bites due to its anti-pain, anti-swelling and anti-itching components. Also, its antimicrobial properties prevent bacterial infections reducing itching from insect bites. Number six, echinacea. Echinacea has long been used for medicinal purposes in the form of tea, juice and extracts. It can also be consumed in powder or supplement form. Echinacea is most commonly used to reduce the length of colds and reduce their symptoms. However, more research is required to demonstrate how it works. Echinacea is quite safe with some potential minimal side effects. However, it needs further testing to prove. Echinacea could be beneficial for colds, however, studies have shown different results. Research demonstrates that it increases white blood cells which fight infections. Other studies show that echinacea is only slightly beneficial in preventing colds. Echinacea helps with bronchitis by strengthening the immune system and preventing colds which commonly cause bronchitis. It mostly helps acute bronchitis and prevents upper respiratory tract infections. Echinacea also helps recover faster from colds. Number seven, grapeseed extract. Grapeseed extract has long been available and consumed in the form of liquid, tablets or capsules. It has strong antioxidant activity. It is known to be good at reducing bad cholesterol and helping reduce symptoms of poor circulation in the legs. Some studies have shown that grapeseed extract can help with cancer and slow the growth of cancer cells. Grapeseed extract can reduce blood pressure, thin blood and improve blood flow, so it is recommended to be cautious if taking blood thinning or blood pressure medications. Number 8. Lavender. Many studies have shown that lavender has anxiety reducing properties. Lavender reduces anxiety by helping regulate the parasympathetic nervous system, which helps regulate anxiety, heart rate, breathing rhythm, hormone secretion and lowering adrenaline. According to studies, lavender can have a calming effect on mood and can help improve cognitive performance. It is also a sedative helping people sleep. Recent discoveries have shown that lavender has anti-inflammatory benefits too. It is best diluted and applied to the skin. It is also commonly used in aromatherapy and is relatively safe with minimal side effects. The scent of lavender essential oil can help relieve headaches and migraines. Lavender as an essential oil helps relieve headaches due to its anti-inflammatory nature by dilating blood vessels. 
Number nine, chamomile. Chamomile has anti-anxiety properties. It is commonly consumed as a tea, but can also be taken in the form of liquids, capsules, or tablets. According to a study, chamomile has been shown to be more effective than the placebo effect for helping anxiety. It is relatively safe to use. Another study showed it potentially has anti-cancer properties. Chamomile helps with anxiety due to the calming effects of an antioxidant called apigenin, which attaches to the receptors in the brain that decrease anxiety and promote sleep. This antioxidant has also been shown to have anti-cancer properties. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for more informative videos on health conditions and their treatments, natural remedies and nutrition. Also, feel free to leave a comment. Have you tried any of the above mentioned remedies? Have they helped with any of the above mentioned ailments? I would love to know what has worked for you. I look forward to sharing another video with you soon. Bye for now.